Hey, 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 Brandon Beliso here. It is Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the West Coast. Another installment of Success Never Sleeps. We've got it going on. k one sitting here with me. Let's see. We have Instagram here. We have LinkedIn here. We have Facebook here. And we're at the Disruptors Group here. Everybody with us? As you come aboard, do say hello. Put in your name. Put in the name of your school where you're tuning in from. But most importantly, share this. Share this live with everybody. You know why? Because we're giving away a one-day pass for It's Time Live Ignite right here in San Francisco, California, November 10th. Just a Sunday event, November 10th. But it's all day learning experience of forward thinking that will blow your mind because I'm always pushing boundaries because there are no boundaries, only the ones I set for myself. So we got that going on. Um, it's going to be a crazy one today. We're going to really start talking about planning 2020, kind of a prelude to It's Time Live Ignite, because one of the big components I'll be covering at that event is planning your 2020 calendar. All right. But before I do that, I got to thank our sponsors. So let's thank them. Number one, My Studio, the app. To Tule, Lynette, uh, Steve, Kevin, everybody over there. I want to thank you so much for sponsoring us. Forward thinking, simply the best CRM system in our industry and only getting better. I think that's what I love the most about My Studio, their commitment to innovation. I heard recently, I think, too, share that they had purchased or rented a building out in, in India to house all of the developers. Yeah, how cool is that, right? What a privilege so that they could create a better culture with the developers and get them the coders, everybody like that. So they create more of a synergy of, of infusing the why into their everyday life. I think that's forward thinking, don't you? I do. I do 24, 7, 365. I love that. Steven Reinstein, the gang over at Market Muscles. If you don't have a Market Muscles website, you need to get one. Stephen posts today, tell me what you would like to see in email flows. How many companies are consistently reaching out and asking you, the consumer, you, the user, what experiences that you want to create? You know, so be very aware of that. And that's what I love about Stephen. But it's like Photoshop. You know, if you invest 3%, then you're going to know 3%. So it's easy to jump ship. I think the thing is to go deep. Educate yourself. Educate yourself on the power of a Market Muscles website and go deep. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. Kids Love Life Skills. Again, another forward-thinking company of, of life skills education. A kick is just a kick. Whether you're kicking a soccer ball or you're kicking a red square target, a kick is just a kick. And if you think for one minute you're in competition with Joe Karate down the street, you're crazy. I'm going to tell you that. You're crazy. You're in competition with soccer baseball, gymnastics, swimming, any child's activity, because every parent wants their kid to be well-rounded, right? They want them to be well-rounded. So it's really your goal to be that life skills educator. So you stand heads and tails above everybody. You know, I saw Kwan posted a video yesterday about kids love life skills, and he's trying to educate people on why kids love life skills, because our commitment to being a leader in life skills education in our community is really what sets us apart. The success of our two schools, 2.15 million, a thousand students is because people do not view us as a martial arts school. They view us as a life skills educator who utilizes martial arts to educate their child and give them the skill set to live their best life. And then LC Accounting, my sister, if you need a great bookkeeper, you know, she's very heavy into profit first, MMI. It's a great book. You should read it if you want to understand how to set up your financial situation so that you can prosper and grow. Um, my sister's in doesn't pull punches, man. She shoots from the hip. And that's what I love about it. If we can afford it, we can afford it. If we can't, she tells me we can't. Don't spend the money. And all that are the sponsors that 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 back us up today. So what are we talking about? Well. Um, let me step in here and say hello because I see lots of people here and I should say hi because that's a good thing, right? Who's here? Who's here? I got Don O'Neill. What's happening, Don? Chris from Inspire Martial Arts. Jason, what's happening, Sir Trinity? Marco, focus. What's up, Alfonso Fonzi? Salinas. Salinas Blackheart Martial Arts University. Man, that's a long one, sir. I like Black Hawk Martial Arts. That works for me all day, every day. So thank you for tuning in today at Success Never Sleeps. And those are our sponsors. Make sure right now, because you can win that one-day ticket. So make sure you share this. Hit hashtag shared once you've shared this live video with everybody. Cool, cool, cool. All right, K1's letting you know he's saying hello. So let's talk about this a little bit. Again, it's a pre-frame. And put in your questions as we go along. Put in your questions here. Um, 
over here, over here, over here. Let's see. There you are, Instagram. We're having trouble starting your live video. I don't know why. They're having trouble at Instagram. So maybe you can take a look at that for me, K1. Go, go live. We're having trouble. Go live. Connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, people over here at our Disruptor Group page. So success is something you plan for, okay? Success is something you plan for. I'm very challenged when a school owner reaches out to me um, on it at the end of the month and saying, you know, what can I do right now to get 10 new students? I need to make rent. I'm going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back up two steps. If you're running your business like that, I would be deeply challenged by your philosophy and your choice and your, and your systems and processes in running that business. I'm a very methodical person. You know, it took us almost what, 15 years to open our second location. I wanted to make sure that first one was running without me. I mean, completely without me. And it was extremely profitable. So we can lay back on that first location as we built out that the second one. I went into the second one for the first couple of years. I rocked it hard. I built it up, you know, and, and, I was, had a very clear vision and everybody does it differently. I'm not saying my way is better than yours or any of those different things, but it really is. Success is something you plan for. Here we are, Instagram. You with us? You with us now, Instagram? Sorry about that. But as you come aboard Instagram, this is Success Never Sleeps. I'm Brandon Bliso. Write in where you're tuning in from all that cool stuff so that you could be entered into our drive. All right. So back over here. So success is something you plan for. So everybody here, you should have a Google account. Tell me you have a Google account. Tell me you have a Google account. You do, right? And does it have to be a business account, K1, for them to use calendars or stuff, or can they do it off their private? Yeah, okay. Mm. So I have a business account, but my personal's tied to the business, and I've got all these different emails, and I can kind of see everything, okay? So my suggestion is make sure you set up your Google business account, okay? Put in there hashtag I have if you've set up your Google business account. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me you have over here at Instagram, over here, disruptors, put it in, put your questions in. K wants monitoring that one. LinkedIn, same thing. Put in your comments. Tell me you have your Google business page set up for your business, but hashtag I have good. Marco does excellent. Excellent. Because if I say right now, take out your phone and, and, and look up for me, uh, do, do a web search, look for martial arts in San Francisco. Go. There you go. Look up martial arts in San Francisco. Everybody do that? Okay. Who comes up at the top of the page in martial arts in San Francisco? Martial arts in San Francisco. Anybody? Martial arts in San Francisco. Who comes up at the top? Go, go, go. Give me some love, Instagram disruptors. Give me some love. LinkedIn, give me some love. And... My business page, give me some love. And it's like all these computers and phones, lions and tigers and bears. Oh no. All right. Who comes up? Come on. Who comes up at the top of that Google page? Martial arts in San Francisco. Who comes up? In your web search. I can wait. What you got for me? What you got for me? Who comes up at the top of that? Oh, one martial arts. Oh, my goodness. And quantum martial arts, right? Okay, there's one. So one martial arts is coming up now. That ranking we earned organically over years. But now with the advent, advent of your Google Facebook page, you can accelerate that tremendously. You can. So how do you do that? Well, think for a minute. When I asked you to go search for martial arts in San Francisco, did you go to Bing? Did you go to Dogpile? Did you go to Yahoo? No, you didn't. Where did you go? Google. Google it, right? You went to Google. So... That is why you need to have your Google business page set up. Do I need to say more about that? I don't think so, right? So it's it's really clear. Now, looking at your Google page, are the different things set up? Do you have a great icon on the left? Are you posting reviews regularly? Are you taking advantage of the Google ads and running Google AdWords? You should. All of that makes those spiders, those algorithms at Google happy. 
makes them happy. You need reviews. You need to post videos. You need to post team pictures. They even help you a lot. They can, you know, they, they segment it along the way. And you know, me and Kwan learned this the other night about MailChimp. And I want to share that with you. It's so cool. You know, if you're looking for good headlines, right, what to put in the subject line of your email, MailChimp has algorithms that will tell you where it ranks, one star, two star, three stars, four and five. One of the ones the industry talks about a lot and everybody uses is quick question. It got five stars. Another one is congratulations, five stars. So I'm as I'm rewriting these trials, these email trials, when someone first opts in, whether it's a one free class or it's a four weeks with a uniform uh, for $99, my first email, the subject line will say, congratulations. And then on the right in the subheader, you've taken your first step to live your best life. Because I want to put our why in there. You see that? Congratulations, live your best life. So I know congratulations gets five stars. That means more people will open an email that says congratulations. Quick question, same thing. But when I took live your best life and I put it in the subject line, it got like two stars. So it wasn't compelling by itself. Um, subject line should be no more than, I think, three words, no more than three or four. Cool. So just a little side note to offer you on that. So everybody, you have your Google business page set up. If you haven't done that, do it immediately. Verify, put your hours, put your address, put videos, put as much information as you can, because that will help begin to cultivate your ranking. And then you got to go there regularly. You got to post, add pictures. Pictures go a long, long way. A picture speaks a thousand words. We have one picture there that's been viewed like 70,000 times and it's a group shot. It's just a group class going on. Who knows why? We've got a shot. I looked last night of one of the upstairs training areas in San Francisco. 17,000 views. I don't know why. You never know what people are going to respond to. But if you look at it in, in your Google Photos, it can separate it to location, team, your identity, where you talk about your culture, your logo, your why. So you can put pictures in there that are that will cultivate and be defined as this is a team picture. This is what we do picture. This is a location picture. And, and Google was running that a while back where they would come out and do a 360 virtual tour of your environment because that helps your ranking. Go figure. Go figure. So I'm going to add that one next into our budget. We're going to have one of the Google people come out and shoot it or whatever subcontractor that they use. And we'll do a 360 degree because people like to know what, where they're coming to. And that's kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. So please set up your Google account. Now, in that Google account, you need to create calendars and color code your calendars. Because what's neat about the calendar section is you can click them on and click them off. So if I just want to look at my brand and so personal stuff, I click on that one. If I want to overlay that with my private lessons, I click on that and see my see where my schedule might conflict if I'm trying to schedule in a uh, mentoring call. So I love that all of them are separate. So we're defining that now. So, but the must you should have is your own personal calendar. You should have a curriculum calendar. You should have an events calendar. And type this in as we go along. Type it in for me. Okay, one. So they want to have their personal calendar, right? And that could even be broken down. I'll get into that in a minute. Your second calendar should be your events calendar right? All the events, marketing, everything, everything. And that I'm going to go into depth. My, my good friend, Sensei Lemons from Germany said, can you please go through your 2020 marketing calendar at It's Time Live Ignite? He comes all the way from Germany. I said, absolutely, my brother. I will give you every marketing event that we do in, in 2020. And I'm going to try to go into detail a little bit more at It's Time Live Ignite, right? We want to do that. And, and if you can't make the event, we're going to have a live stream, right, K1? We're going to have a live stream for that. So that'll be going down too. Cool. All right. So let, let's dig a little deeper now. So we have an events calendar. You need to have a curriculum calendar, a curriculum calendar. You got it? Because we teach the same thing on January 1 as we taught a year ago and the year before, the year before that. We just keep going deeper, right? It's not that every year we're going to teach something new in January. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We, we, we have our curriculum laid out for the whole year. We just go deeper and deeper and deeper and learn to teach it better. We're always looking for those holes in the attrition. Oh, year three, biggest dropout rate. What do we do? Like we're looking in my student and our biggest dropout rate is zero to three months. Pretty standard in most industries. That means we really need to hold people's hand more. We need to create a better experience for month zero to three. We do. And that we'll continue to work on. 
cool? So, and then also under the curriculum calendar, what's neat is let's say I click on the date. Let's say it's January 1st and we're working on stripe number one. Okay, so I look under stripe number one, I click on it as an event, I look under description and in the description, guess what? We have links to the curriculum videos for stripe one, beginner stripe one, year one stripe one, year two stripe one, year three stripe one, and year four stripe one. And pretty soon we'll have black belt stripe one, first degree stripe one, second degree, so on and so on. Is that cool? I think it's really cool. And that way the instructor can simply go there and click on the know what he's teaching that week and get an overview. Second, we have a life skills calendar. So I can click on that. Now in our school, we're working on three different life skills every week. One is for the Excellent Kids program, which is our four to six year old. One is for the Youth Karate Beginning program. I'll explain that in a minute, okay? And then the third one is our Youth Karate and our adult teen, youth, teen, and adult, YK, AK and TK. Now, why? Because as I shared at the top of this broadcast, if you're not a life skills educator, you're no different than anybody else. You're no different than soccer, gymnastics, swimming, anything else. A kick is just a kick. And for a parent, if I'm kicking a soccer ball, fine. If I'm kicking a martial arts pad, fine. It makes no difference. I know that shadows are little egos. No, 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 because martial arts is so much more to me. I get it. But if you can become a life skills education leader, you're in a whole nother league. So we have a calendar for life skills. So if I, as the instructor, I go in and look, Excellent Kids is on focus. I can click on that in description and see the entire lesson plan for focus. And I can see the handout, the mat chat I need to have memorized to deliver at a level 10, the student parent handout I need to hand out. and the facilitator handout so we can educate that 14 year old instructor on why we're teaching focus. Cool. And what that also allows is my team, they don't have to go to Dropbox. They don't have to look somewhere because they all have a Google email. We just need to give them access to that calendar. They go into that calendar. They're never looking, Hey, how do I print this out? We ran out of coloring sheets for focus. Boom. They're going to be able to go right to their Google, you know, Google calendar, look at it and print it right from there. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. Really cool. Now, how come we teach three different life skills every week? I get that question all the time. And, and I want to take a moment to answer that because Excellent Kids is a standalone preschool program. And it was originally based upon Little Ninjas. I've licensed it through skills. So I took Little Ninjas. I added four more skills on top of it to make it a three month cycle because all of our belt testing is three months. And I wanted it to fall in that. I wanted to add more value. We added um, the badges. We added the mat chat, the student parent handout. And we have five minutes of participation with parents. So it's a magic program that helps get them into your youth karate. Now, youth karate beginner. We use six life skills, only, only six. I'm going to tell you why. Nobody's going to come to your school and want to learn about humility as a beginner. Nobody's going to come in and say, teach me integrity. Everybody walks through the door and wants these six life skills, confidence, discipline, respect, family, focus, and teamwork. That's it. Those six life skills help every beginner. Every parent who walks through the door in the four week uh, trial that we do, we get exposed to two major life skills that fit the beginner mindset of what a parent's looking for. Cool. And then our youth karate and adult karate is a different life skill. We got 26 mapped out for the whole year. We just keep getting better. And that's a lot of work, isn't it? But we understand if we position ourselves as a life skills education leader, everything changes. We are no longer an extracurricular activity. Now we become a lifestyle, a lifestyle that parents want for their children. I can't, I can't express that enough. And please don't tell me because you have discipline, you know, painted on the wall that you teach discipline. Or don't tell me if you do 5,000 kicks, you know discipline. No, you don't. You have a really good kick. To train the mind on the subject of self-discipline is a whole nother day. Cool? So you want to put in the thousands and thousands of hours to become a life skills educator? Go study. If not, Find something great like my system, Kids Love Life Skills. Cool? All right. So that's what our calendars look like. We have your personal calendar, your events calendar, your marketing, your curriculum, your life skills. Now, another one I would put in there, but I don't know how we're going to label this yet. But fundamentally, it's all our tasks from ordering office supplies to inventorying belts and uniforms, you know, all those different things, all those different things. That's a whole nother calendar that has to be managed. Because it's great to sit there and see it pop up in the corner of my desktop and it goes, bing, glove inventory. 
That happens every week. And I'll tell you why we started doing this. When I learned from Toyota, when my cousin was working at Toyota, he says Toyota believes on buying things as you need it. They're not going to go to Costco and buy a thousand rolls of toilet paper. They're going to buy just what they need for that month. Well, with Century, we can get gloves made 12 at a time with our logo on it. So we do. So every week we get a little bing in the right-hand corner of our, our desktop that says glove inventory. Well, guess what? My owners, all, all my op by instructors, they're going to be getting bings all the time. Bing, steady your focus, Matt Chat. Bing, we're working on stripe one. That way when the instructor comes to their class, they'll be better prepared because their mindset is there. You feel me? So that's super powerful too. So add that one in. We got the admin calendar and that's all those different things that, that need to happen, right? Because they do. Like right now, the school's being painted. We try to paint the schools twice a year inside, right? Right after camp and in spring, springtime, springtime and right after camp, summer camp. So that has to be scheduled in. Your quarterly taxes need to be scheduled in. When you file your business licenses, your, your renewal each year, your insurance, please don't let your insurance lapse, our workers' comp, our, our van insurances, all those things need to be paid for and set up. Registration, you know, renewing the registration on those vans, right? Pay raises, employee reviews, all that stuff, core team meetings, all those things need to be scheduled in. And if you schedule for success, your the opportunity of being successful is a lot closer. So can you guys think of any other calendars that we need? Anybody here at Instagram? Anybody there at Disruptor? Anybody here at LinkedIn? Anybody there at uh, the Facebook uh, group page? For Brandon Beliso, what other calendars could you think? Let's be disruptors for a moment. Type in there. Give me some feedback. What other calendars do we need? Anybody? Yep. Financial calendar is a big one. When am I making my investments? How often do I, you know, on the 10th and the 25th for each month, put money into my 401k? Absolutely. Budgeting meetings. When do I pay my quarterly taxes? Everything. Everything needs to be in that financial calendar. Everything, everything, everything. An admin, of course. And then that way, you know, I like getting notifications. You know, when somebody said to me, um, do you make lists? I said, no, I don't. They go, why? Well, because if I have a list, 10 things I have to do this week, okay? I don't get it done. What do I simply do with that list? I move it over to next week. Not a good thing. You know how many times I've taken something from this list and moved it to next week? Oh, didn't get it done. Move it to next week. The only real action I did was moving it to next week. And I felt satisfied. Well, I moved it to next week. I transferred it over, right? And that was it. So what I've learned about that is I don't do that anymore. I schedule it into my Google Calendar. If it's not my Google Calendar, it doesn't exist. And it's great because my wife can go in without having to call me and look at my personal calendar and know who I'm talking to, mentoring, where I'm traveling to, all those different things. So she doesn't ask me and she can schedule stuff out because sometimes it's really in the moment, right? She's there. She wants to buy tickets to this event for the kids and, and, and me and her. And she can't do that without talking to me first. Well, now she can go right in and look at my Google Calendar. See how cool that is too? So that line of communication, let's say hypothetically you create a um, scheduling calendar and you put your team schedule in there. What if I want it off and I want to go in and look and see who's working so I can call someone to cover for me? Well, wouldn't that be cool? I got to tell that to TJ because I know right now we do it in an Excel file, but imagine if it was sitting in Google, right? In Google, in the calendar. So I could look Saturday, December, whatever, who's working? Because I need it off for my family's holiday party. So I can call somebody that's not working and ask them to cover for me now. See? So, I mean, the potential of Google, that Google Calendar is powerful. But it all began at, at the top of this broadcast with me sharing with you, you know, plain and simple. I want you to search for martial arts in San Francisco. Everybody used Google. Nobody went to Dogpile, Yahoo, Bing, none of it, right? So I'm telling you that what's happening with Google because it's creating this cultural environment for every business now. We got Google Docs and spreadsheets and all those things. You know, it's just, it's growing. It's growing, it's growing, and it's growing. So you're going to find Google is going to become this hub. And, and I really believe it's going to take over things like Calendly. What was the other one? Evernote. I mean, there's so many of them. But the fact that I can communicate seamlessly in 
Google is going to offer you a bigger platform over time. And if you're a disruptor and a forward thinker, then get on it. Get on it. And, and don't lose out on that opportunity. Cool? So let's look at all those different calendars. Take a moment. And if you, if you have any suggestions, I, I don't see any yet. Anybody got any other calendars you're going to suggest? Put it in, put it in. And while we do that, I'm going to take a quick break, quick breath and say for all the new people coming aboard, this is Success Never Sleeps. I'm Brandon Beliso hanging out here with Kwan today. He's actually with me in the room. That's, that's kind of cool. What a treat. And who are we sponsored by? We're sponsored by My Studio, the app. We're sponsored by Market Muscles, Kids Love Life Skills, and LC Accounting. Uh, I want to congratulate people have been signing up for It's Time Live Ignite. It is definitely a forward-thinking learning experience. You can stay for a day on Sunday, November 10th. You can stay for two days. Uh, we do physical training on that first day, uh, November 9th. But if you can stay for four days, it'll change your life. Ask Marco. He's coming out for four days. Chris will be here for four days. That four-day experience of personal development, of self-discovery is really what I think makes it a forward-thinking learning event. Yeah, I've really been thinking a lot about that, you know, the inner self, the mindset. I posted a great one this morning where I really talked about that. Be yourself, you know, be you, right? The problem with the you, the you is defined by everybody else your significant other, your students, your parents, your peers. So we get to be you, the you I am to everybody else, but not, I never get to the self. I would want to get rid of the you and say, be self. Can we do that for a minute? Put hashtag be self because the self is really where you should be living. If everything I do is filtered through other people's impression of me, other people's view of me, I'm living a lie. I am living a lie. I want to be self. I want to be my truest self, my most authentic, transparent self, and bring that to a relationship. Bring that when I teach somebody. Bring that when I engage in a mentoring conversation. Bring that when I speak. If I sit there and go, well, great, what can I say really smart and cool and intelligent? So everybody thinks I'm the smartest guy in the room, and they applaud me, and they go, yay, Brandon's cool. I'm not living my truth. I'm living the you, the you you want to see, so you're happy with me, so you, you accept me right? So you approve of me. And for me, that's not a healthy place to live. So instead of be yourself, let's take out the your, the you, get rid of it because that's other people's view of you. Let's start working on hashtag be self. Who's got the courage to, to own that? Good. Thank you, Paul. Be self. Good, good, good. Be self, right? I think I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Be self because it is, it's, it's very humbling to go deep, because the truer journey is inward. It's not, you know, more money, bigger house, more schools. Da, 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 da. That's a bottomless pit. I call that needy and greedy. Needy and greedy. Enough is never enough. But what I want to try to do is, is pull back my own covers and, and really see what's there. And if I can do that, the potential is unlimited. It really, really is. So I'm going to challenge you to hashtag be self, right? Be yourself. Thank you, everybody. Conrad, Jason, Sal. Marco, excellent, excellent. K1, thank you, sir. Paul, yeah, it's very humbling, you know, because we do. But if I take away, you know, Brandon, the professor, Brandon, the father, Brandon, the husband, uh, Brandon, the son, you know, Brandon, the friend, Brandon, the mentor, I take all those people away. Who am I? Kind of scary, right? Because we define ourselves by the reflection that we cast on the people looking at us. I get that. I get that. And as I've gone deeper and the more I know myself, my circle of friends has, has became much smaller, much smaller. And I'm okay with that. You know, as they say, F them if they can't take a joke because I'm not here to appease you. And if I, I live my whole life trying to appease you or anybody else, I'll get lost in that process. It takes a lot of great courage to be yourself. Okay. So get rid of the you and just be self. Thank you, Chris. And as K1's reminding us, um, we're giving away a ticket, right? We're giving away a free ticket to the main event for anyone who chooses any ticket for our upcoming event. So Patrick today, uh, out of Valor Martial Arts in the Stockton area, he bought a two-day pass. And so he gets the one-day Sunday an extra ticket for his teammate. How cool is that? How cool is that? Because you can't do it alone. You got to grow that team. That's really, really important, you know? So uh, 
whether you win a ticket or not today, please share this right now. Share this live video and let's spread the word of disruption. Let's, let's cultivate that, right? Let's cultivate that. And that's vital. That's vital because you're so much more. So let's get back to those calendars. I'm going to touch upon it a little bit, your personal calendar. And like I said, I'll go in, into depth. I'll explain my marketing events at It's Time Live Ignite. All the details will go really, really deep. Okay. All right. So my personal calendar, what needs to go in there? Um, my massages every week. Oh, yep. That's, that's got to be there. What else? Uh, doctor's appointments, dental appointments. What else? Meditation time. What else? Uh, family time. I think I'm, I'm going to need a family calendar soon because my wife keeps us busy, right? I don't put it in there, but every night it, I want to be home every night at 6.30. I want to do homework. I want to make dinner or have dinner with my family. I want to be at my son's soccer games, all those things. And those need to be scheduled in. They do. They do. So all those personal things, vacations, those are big ones. Vacations are important right? Even the time I go to Pete's, that should be there. So it goes, ding, I get a little notice, go to Pete's and write a system. All that should be in your calendar. It really should. And those calendars are thick. You ought to see ours. I mean, we got two locations. If I overlay all of them, it looks like a rainbow because each school's color coded and, you know, San Francisco's got this for events. And It's like, wow, wow. But I can uncheck all of them and just look at my personal calendar. And then be able to overlay things so there's no conflicting times or dates. We put our birthday parties in there. Oh, that's a huge one for us. So imagine this now. And I love this process. And we're still honing it. But you go to our website. You go to the birthday party. It goes to my studio. You book the birthday party. You pay for the birthday party. A zap happens through Zapier. Zap. It goes to the Google Calendar. And it gets placed there. Right? And then it gets it zaps an email to the person who's control the birthday parties in San Francisco or the person who's control the birthday parties in Millbrae. And my wife gets a zap because she does all the decorations. That's so cool. And as we improve that automation and learn more about it, hopefully at It's Time Live, we can share that with you for the people that use my studio, integrating into Zapier and Zapier into MailChimp. It's not an exact science and we're working out the bugs and hopefully I'll have better information to offer you when you come to It's Time Live Ignite. Cool? So. That's my personal calendar. Think of everything that needs to be on there. Meditation, I don't know. Pilates class, up to you, right? Regular dinner with your folks, sure. Whatever needs to be there, prioritize that because that is very important. Much like in Profit First, we have an income account. Right after that income account, we have a tax account. Right after that tax account, I have an owner's compensation account. I have a profit account. The last thing we fund is expenses. And if I don't feed that profit account and that owner's compensation account, I've created a job for myself. I'm a horrible boss. I don't want that. So I have owner's comp and profit before we ever look at expenses. And then whatever we need to whittle away, we trim the fat on expenses so that we make those five accounts. Same thing here. If your personal calendar is not your number one priority, then I would probably say your life is unbalanced and that we need to pay attention. But young school owners, Lorenzo Sandoval, it's really important. He said, did you work like that? Uh, yep. 365, 24 seven. I worked 17 hour days, seven days a week for the first five years, maybe, but I was single. I wasn't married a whole different day. And so I was married to my business and I devoted to, cause I knew what it took to be successful. Martial arts schools was not my first businesses in life. I've owned other businesses. So please be very clear about that. Cool. So your personal calendar should be prioritized. Find a color that you like. What is the color for your personal calendar? should be your favorite color, really, because you want it to stand out. If I overlay three or five or, you know, three to five or seven calendars, I want to know that my color is going to emotionally capture me, keep me engaged, okay? That personal calendar, create that first. All right, so it's all there, family time, meals, doctor's appointments, massages, vacations, anything that's personal, right? It could be your gym time when you go to the gym. Well, I do that every day, not the point. The point is I want it scheduled because if I can see it, I can be it. Be home for dinner every night at 6.30. Not the point. Put it in your schedule because we're no longer going to live from lists. We're going to live from schedules because you'll get a notification on your phone. You'll see it. It's just an awesome thing. Okay, cool. Next one, let's talk a little bit about your events. Events is a big one for me because, of course, if we're not marketing our business, then we're going to lose, right? But we want to market responsibly. Um I'm not against a Facebook ad. I'm not against a Google ad. We do them both sparingly, 
sparingly because I'm a huge advocate of community-based marketing. I'm a huge advocate of owning that three to five mile radius of your brick and mortar location. So it's real important, not real important, real important that you position your business as a business that cares. You've heard the saying, I'll say it again, nobody cares what you know until they know that you care, right? It's a done day. So it's really important that you take the time to think about what can you do in your community to position yourself to show that you're a business that cares and stop thinking about leads. I'll say it and I'll say it again. I don't want leads. I don't want trials. I want members. And if I want members, then I need to invest in a relationship that earns the trust that can be cultivated over time, right? I use something like the Warriors. What does Chase Center have anything to do with basketball? Nothing. But they get instant credibility because they're associated with the Warriors. They support the Warriors. They're intertwined with the Warriors basketball team. So if somebody's ready to do banking, who are they going to go to? Chase. Same thing here. When we look for these community marketing events, we're not thinking trials and leads. Not No, we're not. We're thinking how can we invest in this community to be viewed as a business that cares, a business that wants to give back. Real hard to do that when you're standing with a clipboard trying to gather information. Just simply is, right? Think about it. Think about it for one minute. You walk into a store. Hi, how may I help you? What do you say? I'm just looking 99% of the time. You're walking through the mall. That guy at the kiosk going, my friend, my friend, come here. I have a question for you. No, you don't. You want to sell me some sea salt from the Dead Sea, right? No. So realize, unless we're ready to buy then don't sell anybody. Your website, you know, I've had discussions, me and Steven, about creating websites that communicate your culture. What did he put today? I was just loving it. He was saying that your website should communicate your culture. Yes, it does, because it positions you in such a unique way, right? So he said that today at, at the Market Muscles Group page. You need to position yourself as a business that, that explains why. How many of you have an ad right now? where the biggest thing in that ad is the name of your school. The biggest thing. We've all been guilty of that. That shows your marketing from the what. What are your martial arts school? Some of you get to the how. Quality martial arts education and life skills. Seldom do you get to the why. Even in these calendars, when I plan the 2020, every event that we do will fulfill the why of living your best life. We have one coming up, a turkey trot at my son's elementary school. They run for a mile and a half, right? It's a turkey trot. Right? It's a fundraiser. And the Millbury Lions Club does pancake breakfast, pancakes and sausage with syrup. We looked at that and said, let's do this better. Can we donate blueberries, strawberries, bananas, uh, granola, yogurt, whipped cream, and chocolate chips to top those pancakes? Bam. They absolutely want us there. Am I going to stand there and block the blueberries and say, you cannot have blueberries unless you give me your lead information? No, I'm not going to do that because then it defeats the whole purpose, right? It defeats the whole purpose. Cool? Everybody with me on that? So think for one minute, a disruptor, pipe in. Name one community event that you do that you think is unique and special and different. Give us the time of the year, the date of the year, and why you do it at that time of the year. Maybe we can begin to cultivate an events calendar. Anybody? Who wants to be the first person to add their two cents? What's happening over there at Instagram? I see a lot of people. I'm sorry. I'm just flowing today. Florida Taekwondo joined. What's happening? Okay. So what's coming up in November? Let's just get kind of a couple of things. For us, will be the food drive. We're going to have food barrels throughout our school, and we're going to have people fill those food barrels. I know John Gaston, love this guy, uh, out in the Chicago area, Illinois. They do a food brigade, and they make bags with turkeys and stuffing and all these different things for people right? Marco says we, we have a trunk or treat uh, this weekend. Good. And everyone is going to have their cars decorated and giving out candy. Cool. Cool. Not focused martial arts. We will be out with our cotton candy machine. Guess whose line is going to be the longest? Yep. Cotton candy. Because those people, it's great. Decorate your cars, give out candy. But something magical about cotton candy, live in the moment, you're physically making it, you're serving it to them. They're standing in line with anticipation. You're creating dialogue. It's a touch point. Go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. Um, what else do we have coming up? We're going to do Toys for Tots in December, right? A toy drive through the firefighters. January, we do one warm coat, whichever 
group raises the most coats, it's always our kickboxers. They get a free party at One Martial Arts with a workout. So that goes over big every year. See, so those are already three things. Well, how does it get me more leads? How does it get me more students? Stop it. I'm going to tell you, stop it. It's just, you know, you want to, again, be that business that cares. All I know is when somebody is ready to take martial arts, who's on the tip of their tongue? Who's at the forefront of their brain? One martial arts. Why? Because you came to this free Halloween party that we're doing next weekend. Free to the community Halloween party, right? Why? Because we do a free parents night out every month to the community. Why? Because we do a free middle school dodgeball every month for the community. And we don't ask people to sign up for anything. We just do it. And we do it every month repeatedly because you want to position yourself as a business that cares. Right? And I can't express that enough. I can't express that enough. Chris is doing this on this is kind of cool. Exit interviews at my local high school to help many of the local teens learn how to do job interviews. I think that's great, Chris. Um, I don't know what background you have on that. Um, so when you say an exit interview at my local high school to help many local teens, so as they're leaving high school, you're going to teach them how to do job interviews. Is, is that what you're telling me, Chris? Tell me your background on that. Tell me your background on teaching people how to interview for a job. And I'm going to share you my take on that in a minute. Herman, extreme impact martial arts. What's happening, sir? How's it going? How's it going? So there's a couple of things you'd already have in place. And then what do we have? Uh, we have day camp during November, right? November will be day camp because a lot of kids are before Thanksgiving on Thursday, at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So our after schoolers, um, our campers, everyone can enjoy that. The day after Thanksgiving is another one. We do a two-hour kickboxing workout. Yep, building community, a two-hour extreme kickboxing workout so they can eat like pigs on Thanksgiving and come in the next day and burn off those calories. And we'll have a camp on Black Friday. On and on and on. It's relentless. It's relentless. It's like we never stop. And of course, we'll have the food bank drive. And of course, we're going to have a referral contest where people are still trying to, to win tickets. Oh, I didn't tell them about that, huh? That's another great one you better put on the calendar. I got a million of them. All right. So right now, we're taking two warrior tickets at each location, separate dates, valued at $700. And the warriors are the hottest ticket in town because they have a new arena and all that's going on. Everyone wants to see Chase Center. So we're giving away two tickets. So if you come to class and you do a picture or video post and check in, that's one ticket. You bring a buddy to class, you get a ticket. You leave us a review at Yelp, Facebook, Google, and we said it today, only if we earned it. Post us a review, that's five tickets. And right now we're doing, we don't do this often, but we do it at the end of every year. We're doing a one year paid in full and we will absorb the credit card fees. Isn't that cool? So we got that going on. So that contest is going on. We have all these monthly community events. We're in the community all the time, all the time, all the time. That's what we do. And, and through that, we get so much gratitude back. Even if they're not students of ours, I can't tell you how often we're stopped somewhere and people just say, thank you. You know, you guys give so much back. Okay, let's see. Chris is adding to this. Okay. Yes, we help the 12th graders and, and myself and two high school teachers interview them and then give them feedback. Awesome. I like that, Chris. I think that's beautiful. You know, I did a similar thing. I was um, donating my time to Raphael House, which is a halfway home for women that have been abused and substance abuse, every kind of abuse you can imagine. They're trying to get it together, get clean, and get the skill set to get back into the workforce, right? So they live at this place. They eat at this place. I sat and ate with them. And then I facilitated an hour and a half where I used different life skills, manners, respect, confidence. And we went through these life skills and how they could help them interview for a job better, how to sit, how to stand, how to introduce yourself, how to speak, how to position yourself to see, to be seen in the best way possible to earn that job. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. I dig it. I love it. I love it. And through doing that, you know, you might cultivate a team that wants to come work for you, right? They can run your camps, your after school. They might could do birthday parties. You don't need a black belt for that, right? They could help you with your excellent kids class. You don't need to have a black belt for that. You just have to love to serve people, work and be teachable and be a team, great team member. What's up, Mr. Andrew Bell? How you doing, sir? Welcome. All right, so we're at about quarter to the hour. Um, 
lots. We're talking about lots. But you see where we're going with this? Simply by being aware of your calendar, it, we've already expanded. We've kind of taken care of November. And of course, you know, we have the holiday party where we have Santa Claus come in. We hire Santa. We take pictures on the spot. We print it. We put in a nice one martial arts holiday frame that will hang on the refrigerator forever. We'll take that and post it at our social media page. They can go there and do a digital download of it. Um, so at that party is where we're going to draw for the raffle for the Warriors tickets. But we'll also have a separate raffle giving away $100 gift cards, weeks of camp. We'll give away a birthday party, all those things for the holidays. All those things will be happening, right? So think about it. Plus everything we're going to give our team. I think I'm going to give them all this zipped Uniqlo hoodie that the, everyone's liked. But I want to get it for the whole team, everybody on the one martial arts team. And that'll be their Christmas gift. So there's so much coming up with the holidays, but every month should look that way. Every month, every month should look that way, right? People think, well, you know, it's just seasonal. No, it's not. Every day you need to be relentless in your marketing every day. And I'm going to go into depth on how to do some of these events as well. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. So when it comes to 2020 marketing for my friend in Germany, Sensei Lemons, I promise you, I'll give you every every marketing that we do and then some that'll blow your mind. You know, they call me the cotton candy guy and I am I because it's disruptive behavior. We were limited to what? Demo team, school talks and a booth. That's it. That's all we got. So we've expanded that net incredibly by having cotton candy machines with gold, which goes out into community at different events and we give out cotton candy for free. That's Marco. I mean, they're doing the same thing. Places your martial arts school will never be allowed. Never. But now that you have this cotton candy machine, it opens the door and the potential is there. You feel me? I hope so. I hope so. So cool. So give me some questions. What questions you have? We're touching upon this calendar. I know the people coming aboard tell me, that's okay, Lee. What's happening, Lee? West Coast Krav Maga all the way from where, Lee? I don't want to say he's from the UK. You're, you're not from the UK. It says West Coast Krav Maga. Where are, you, where are you tuning in from, Lee? Where are you tuning in from, Lee? Help me out. All right. So up to this point, what have we recognized? You need to have your Google business uh, page set up. If you don't get to work on that right away, right? You need to start creating your calendars. We came up with all those different calendars. Looking back in this feed, where is it? Where is it? Right there. We have the events calendar, the personal calendar, the marketing calendar, the curriculum calendar, the life skills calendar, the admin calendar, the financial calendar, the team schedule calendar, right? All those different calendars and whatever ones I don't remember, you find them too. Create those calendars, color code them, and start populating data. Put in all your test dates. That's an event. All those test dates should be in there. When are you going to order those belts? Belt inventory needs to happen. Put all those dates in there, right? All those dates because we want to make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was right. Lee's coming in from the UK, maybe the West Coast of, of the UK, right? What, what West Coast is in the UK, sir? For here, it's California. What's it like there in the UK on the West Coast? Okay. So, and I understand with any event, there's a back, there's a backside to that. So let's say hypothetically, we have, well, not hypothetically, let's take a case in point. We have our holiday party coming up on December 14th. Well, it's actually going to sit on November 1st. Where is that going to sit? Under the admin calendar. And it's going to tell the admin, it's six weeks out before the date. So we need to put that part that in the newsletter, the e-newsletter. It needs to be there with a link. We set up my studio, the event. There has to be a link for them to sign up in my studio for that. Oh, wow. Then we have to do in-house flyers. That's got to go at the front desk, in the bathroom, wherever. We need to get the email out to the instructors. Please start announcing this event in class. And then we're going to make it an event stick, a little three-by-five thing that the instructors are supposed to put on the uniform. we got to remind them a lot, but they put that on the uniform. We found any time a parent says to us, I didn't know that. It's not their fault. It's our fault. Remember, you don't market one way to 70 people. You market 70 ways to 70 people. Same thing here. I don't communicate this holiday party one way to our people. We communicate it 70 ways to our people. And so that's vital, right? That's vital and it's very, very important. So you're actually starting to 
pre-frame that event six weeks before the event if you want it to be successful. I post this one a lot and I'll say it again. When a school owner reaches out to me at the end of the month and they go, what can I do right now? I need to get 10 new students to make my rent. I'm going to go, sir, you need to rethink your whole mindset of the way you do business and the way you run business because success, as we're saying, and that's what this broadcast is all about, success is something you plan for. It's something you plan for, right? It's not just something you make up and pull out of your behind. It doesn't work that way. Right? It does not work that way. And we've been there too. There's times we come out late with flyers. We come on the, and the event's mediocre. So we understand from data that we need six solid weeks to promote anything, anything, anything. Cool. And with the My Studio app, I can do push notifications on the fly. I can do all those things, all of them, which is very, very cool. Because I remember the first time I saw that, it was called um, Off the Grid. It's a movement we have throughout here in the Bay Area where food trucks get together at these obscure locations and they're the best food trucks. And they do, you know how they do it? Instagram and Facebook predominantly and Snap. And all they do is post, we're going to be here, these nine food trucks at this time to this time. And that place is packed. So with social media, we have shortened that window. But if you have six weeks to plan things properly, whether it's ordering cotton candy or snacks or da-da-da-da-da, you have six weeks to properly prepare for these events. Cool? All right, Lee sharing. It's windy in the UK. All right. It's windy on the West Coast. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So here we are. We're coming down to the wire on this, 1151. What are our big takeaways today? Tell me, what are your big takeaways from today's event? What did you get out of this? My number one takeaway success is something you plan for. That's for darn sure. What did you guys get out of today? Give me some love. And while we do that, let's take a care of a little housekeeping. We have It's Time Live Ignite coming up. November 10th is the main event. November 9th and 10th is the two-day, or you can stay for four days, the extended experience. November 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. You want to change your life personally and professionally? Stay here for four days. We eat good, meditation walks mind mapping. It's really about personal development on those additional two days. And don't think for one minute that a bigger house, more money, more locations is going to make you happy. It's a vehicle, but happiness is something you cultivate through self-discovery. So I'm a good facilitator for that. So we got that coming up, right? We got that coming up. It's Time Live Ignite. And right now, uh, I think we shared if you buy the one day, two day, or four day, you get the BOGO. You get one person can come free on Sunday only, uh, Sunday, November 10th. And that's a, what, a $349 value, right? Just for one day. And you want to bring a teammate, you want to cultivate your team, great opportunity to do that. So we're going to offer that uh, uh, in the BOGO special that's going on. Cool. What else do I got going on? People ask me all the time, you, you know, how do I get your mentoring services? Lots of ways to do that. Tons of free content at YouTube. Tons, tons because I believe in being a giver. I have tons of it at the Disruptor group page. Go there too. There's tons of free content. You can hire me by the hour. Some people have me on a retainer. Uh, some do my eight-month mentoring. I work with Market Muscles. I'm on a retainer, and I nurture Stephen. That's my whole purpose, is to help Stephen live his best life. That's all I'm about. That's what I do. I do it for myself. I do it for other people. That's the whole gig. Or be part of our eight-month mentoring. It will change your life. If you do the work, got to do the work though. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So let's see our big takeaways. What do we got? No more lists, all scheduling only. Yeah. Success favors the prepared. I like that, Marco. Success favors the prepared. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And there it is for Ignite. As it's filling up, you see we we're posting everyone's photos because they're action takers. As soon as you sign up for Ignite, boom, you'll see a slide pop up congratulating you for joining the event. Action takers are who you are. You are your best investment. Invest in yourself now. Invest in yourself wisely. And I want to be ready. I want to just nail 2020 doesn't happen on January 1st. 2020 happens now because success is something we prepare for. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So what are your other takeaways today? What do you got? What are your other takeaways, folks? Give me some love. Ooh, and I'm wearing our Disruptor It's Time Live Empowered t-shirt. It was a long sleeve, very cool our sponsor's name are on it. Uh, we got a really nice one coming out for It's Time Live Ignite. I like it. It's cool. It's it's very cool. It's not real gaudy, but it's very, very, very cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Paul is sharing. Oh, there it is. Thank you, K1. The BOGO sales get get 
any ticket and receive a free ticket for a teammate to attend the main event on Sunday. Cool? All right. Uh, Paul's big takeaway. If it you want if you want it to happen, you got to put it on the calendar. It's true, Paul. You do. And I get to see Paul and his wife and one of his teammates are coming out for It's Time Live Ignite. The four-day. Oh, I can't wait. Lee, six weeks in advance. Yep. That's it. Six weeks. You need that window. You want to promote things properly. That's super, super, super important. Cool? Super important. What, what are your other big takeaways? Anybody? We don't compete with other martial arts schools. You don't. You don't. And I know we want to think that. I knew a guy who'd sit there during prime hours. He'd park his car in front of this guy's school and watch who went in and out. I said, so who's teaching your classes? Right? No, at all. You just, I don't worry about it. I see it with great restaurants. You see a Chinese restaurant next to a Vietnamese restaurant next to a Japanese restaurant. They don't care. They don't care. They open doors right next to each other. One has nothing to do with the other. They're there to do their business to the best of their ability. Stop believing that you are involved or you're competing with another the martial arts school. Marco, can't wait to get my Ignite t-shirt. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Jason, thank you, Jason. The mentoring program is is life-changing, and so is the four-day event. Big things coming for us with these services. Yeah, they are because we recognize that our business is all-encompassing. It's not just curriculum. It's not just marketing. It's not just customer service. It's not just a brand. It's not just a why. It's a lot of moving parts. And if you want to offer yourself the best opportunity to succeed, where small businesses nine out of 10 fail, then you've got to do everything, everything, everything to position yourself to be that one business out of 10 that succeeds. You feel me? You feel me? Thank you, Mark. Also, I'll second that, Jason Smith. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so let's get down to it, man. Let's do this, K1. Let's do our drawing. Boom. It's 11.59. Am I right? 11.59? Man, we're on 11.56. We can do this then. Then we'll fade out. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Drum roll, please. The winner of today's one day pass for Sunday, November 10th to It's Time Live Ignite goes to. Wow, he... oh, that was. That was good. Did you see that? Herman, Herman Macon, you win, sir. You won the one day pass valued at $349, sir. Upgrade that and stay for four days, sir. It'll change your life. Today's winner for the one free main event on Sunday, November 10th goes to Herman Macon of Extreme Impact Martial Arts. Disruptors, give him some love, please. Lots of love, please. Nitram over here. I think we're going to finish on time so Instagram doesn't, doesn't die on us. LinkedIn, you've been with us. Grateful you've been with us the whole time, LinkedIn. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Paul, congratulations. Jason, congratulations. Don O'Neill, congratulations. Chris, congratulations. Marco, congratulations. Lee, congratulations. Herman, yes, yes. <laughs> Herman, better start booking a flight so and getting ready to come out here because you should. The power it offers you is phenomenal. You know, everything about success is taking that first step. It's about the inertia of getting out of that train station, right? Big giant train. How's that thing going to move? Tons and tons of metal. It goes chug. It goes chug, 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 chug. And it's heading down the tracks. Get out of that station, Herman. Get booked. Get in here now. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, GM. Hey, GM, I didn't know you were there. Thank you from Sal. Thank you from K1. Herman's going, thank you. Absolutely. So let's wrap this up. Success is something you plan for. And hope for today, hopefully we planted some healthy seeds. You're going to set up your Google business page. You're going to get everything on it, maxed out, best information. You're going to start setting up those Google calendars. Turn on the notifications. So you get those pings letting you know, letting you know, right? Letting you know that you need to take action. And that's what I love. I mean, that's 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 what I love about. Oh, Herman said he is coming. Good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. So think about that, folks. Success is something we plan for. It doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen by coincidence. You got to work it, and it works when you work it. So work it because you're worth it. Barring from a twelve step program, are you worth it? And if you are, do the hard work to really achieve your version of success, whatever that may be, whatever that may be. And I'll be right here with you every step of the way, supporting you on that journey, because that's what I love to do. 
help myself and others live their best life. So this has been Success Never Sleeps. I am and always will be your host, Brandon Beliso. Thank you, my studio, the app. Thank you, Market Muscles. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Kids Love Life Skills and thank you to LC Accounting. Folks, until we talk again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become part of the Disruptor page. Disruptor page, you are part of the Disruptors. LinkedIn, thank you, LinkedIn. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, Brandon Bliso. Believe over here, be live. Uh, God, I got so many cameras on me. I don't know where to go. I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you so much, everybody. Until we talk again, you go out there, live your best life.